Hello, my name is Valerie Cook, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my exceptional children observations I did this spring semester. Uh, I started out this semester at Mount Vernon slash Enola Elementary School. It's uh, called Mount Vernon, but it's in Enola, which threw me off for my first observation. But um, the first day I was there, I went to Miss Fleener's sixth grade gifted and talented class. This class was definitely gifted and talented, and you could tell. They were working on a pulley system. Well, they went over a pulley system, and then they were going to work on a project to do it. And uh, these students gave great ideas on how to make it, what to make it with, what materials would work, and what materials wouldn't work so well. They put in great ideas, and it was really great because they were so competitive. They all competed on which group would win this pulley project. And they did a bunch of other projects previously in the semester, and they were going to total up all their group points and see what, who would win. But Ms. Fleener said, whoever, if the team with the lowest points now wins this project, then they win the whole year. So this really got them going, and they worked so hard with great ideas. She had great groupings for them. They had large rectangular tables. Uh, I think there was five of them, or four of them, four of them. And uh, she... She had each group, They each each student in the groups had different jobs. One was material manager, one was the architecture, one was um, time management, one was the designer. It was really cool. The students got to figure out what job they hadn't had yet this semester and took that job. And this worked really well. As the video, she showed a video about pulleys and students were drawing pictures and already getting ideas. It was really great. The only thing about this class is it was so small. There was one tiny window, and I felt like that was like my only way out. Um, it was really tiny, very, very tiny school. We were crammed in there, but she had her um, Promethean board, and her desk took about half the room, but it was by far the smallest classroom I've ever seen in my life. Um, next, I went to uh, Miss D. She has a long last name, and I'm not sure how to say it, but they called her Miss D. Uh, she was self-contained. And their self-contained was K through six, so I really couldn't pick a grade to be specific with. Um, it was about even with all the grades, but she had two other teachers in there helping her. This class was really great. I feel like it was a very productive, self-contained class. Um, when I first came in, I noticed there was a swing hanging in the back of the room, and it was... They had the classroom divided. They had a bunch of big dividers to where students weren't distracted by each other because, I mean, they are in a self-contained class, so they need that focus, all they can get. Um, but one student was in this big swing in the back, and it would look like kind of like a hammock cocoon looking thing and he was just balled up in there a little tiny boy and one of the teachers was just pushing him and he was swaying back and forth in this swing and um she told me that it was for his behavioral issues that he usually comes in kicking and screaming and hitting and biting and everything else so they put him in the swing and it relaxes him and when he's ready he'll wiggle and they'll get him out I thought that was really cool because I thought I would like to be in this swing and it would really calm me down so I know it would work for the student. Uh, but he finally came out and he he just really didn't seem to have a personality. He was just, I don't know, it was kind of sad. He just wasn't there. It was really, really kind of bothered me. But um, some of the students were taken in and out for different, some of them went to regular classes, some of them would leave to go to speech and other things. Um, they started out exercising. They did jumping jacks and everything. Even the teachers were doing it. So it was really cool. The kids loved it. They played music. And if they weren't exercising, they were dancing. Um, then they did on magnetic boards, they started writing their alphabet. They would write A and B and C and then they'd erase it and then do some next let do some other letters. And then the teacher with them would write a letter and have them guess, like, what letter is this? And some of them knew. Some of them were not sure. And others did not know what was going on at all. Um, I'm not sure how they worked with the ones who weren't really there for education. I don't know if they taught them life skills or not, but it would be really great if they did. Um, then they worked on reading and writing their names. 
and not just single letters. Some of them, they did all different groups, so I was kind of moving around the room and seeing the different things that were going on. Uh, but they worked on reading, and one of these girls could not barely speak. I know she could say computer. That's the only thing I heard her ever say. And um, I, she just had severe autism and couldn't really say much or do much, but she was active, and she could write her name perfectly. She could read perfectly. Um, but she just couldn't, I guess she couldn't think up the words on her own. I'm not real sure. And then they had a math section, which I really liked. Um, they had math, muni math manipul manipulatives. That's the hardest word for me to say ever. Uh, and they were working with them and counting and comparing numbers, least to greatest. Uh, I really enjoyed this class. It was a good to see since I, I have never been in a special re or self-contained classroom before. It was very good to see, just to see how different students can be and what a variety you have in that self-contained class because not every student is the same. They're not the same in a general education. They're not the same in a self-contained classroom. So that was good to see. Um, next, I went to Miss Birchfield's classroom. She had 30-minute intervals. Her first one was with first through third grade, and then her next was fourth through sixth. Um, she was, I don't know if I said she's special resource classroom. Her classroom, her classroom was huge, and the students centered at the middle of the room, which I really liked because they were really engaged with her. Well, they could have been. The bad thing about this classroom was that her students were completely off task. They were throwing things around and leaning all across the desk and talking to their friends and looking around and doing whatever and she wasn't even minding it she didn't care they were just going on and she's still trying to teach them this lesson which i i didn't like that at all um i just feel like this class wasn't as useful as it could have been she had a great classroom set up that could be amazing for these special resource students and they need this time with her and it just was they weren't getting what they thought it was what they needed but also, I thought maybe since I was there watching them, they were acting up, and then maybe she didn't want to look like a mean teacher. So, I don't know. Trying to hope for the best. But um, then I went to Miss Leslie's third grade class, was which was just a general education class. Um, her class was very big, and she had an assistant teacher. Um, she started off the class going... Um, over they were reading out of this book about windmills and wind turbines and she had one she picked one student and then that student picked the opposite sex to read and then so on um the students were very loud and proud with their reading skills which i really like because i remember when i was young i did not want to talk i did not want to read in front of everybody i was just embarrassed so i really like that i like that they get that when they're young that self-confidence so um once they one child would read a paragraph or so, and then she would go over it. And during this reading, they found their weekly vocabulary words. So they would look those up, write them down in their journal, and then move on. I really like this because they were learning as they go, and the students were paying great attention. Um, it was a really good class, very involved. Um, next, I went to Miss Bomar's fourth grade class, and I loved her. I have always been away from my English teachers, but I really liked her. Um, this class started out in a keyboarding class and all the students were trying to look at the computer and not the keyboard and just type. Uh, I noticed that it was difficult for these students, which is good for them to start so young because they're only in fourth grade. I believe I started typing in seventh grade. So they're getting a great head start. Um, then they went to her classroom. Her classroom was amazing. It blew me away. She had all different tables. She had some bar heights with bar stools. And then she had some tables that were lower to the ground with the crates with the cushions on top. Uh, she had some tables with lawn chairs and then some normal just rectangle tables. And then she had some single desk. So I really like that because students can be moved around and figure out what's best for them and how they like to be seated and just change it up if you want to throughout the semester. Uh, another thing that I thought was really cool is that she had a wall covered with cabinets and countertops and the cabinets were painted with chalk paint. And she had things on the thing, on the cabinets like classroom rules and 
consequences and uh, their Chromebook passwords, just things like that that change every year. I really like this because it's inexpensive and instead of buying posters or making posters every year for your different group of students, you can just erase it and do something new. I really like that. Uh, that was really cool. I've never seen that before. Also in this class, I really got to connect because she helped her students, she, although she was an English, English teacher, she did help her students with math. She made sure that they understand, they understood what they were working on last week before they moved on. So she took, she asked every student, do you understand what's going on in English? Do you understand what's going on in math? And if the ones didn't understand in math, she took them to that big bar stool table in the back and she worked with them. And I love this because she wanted me to be involved and wanted me to see what they were doing. So I got to see fractions finally. I was so excited. I love math and I'm taking math for teachers right now. And I finally got to connect with that. I've never got to see math before. So finally, I really like that. She was so sweet and joked around with these students and gave me her personal cell phone number and told me to call her if I need anything, if I have any questions, just anything. She said, call or text me. So that was really sweet. Nicest teacher I've ever observed. Um, next, I went to Mayflower Elementary School. And there I did uh, Miss Hudnall's first grade class. Her classroom was very big, but I did not like that she had tiny windows across the top of the walls that lead out into the hallway, so it kind of looked like a prison. Um, she had a class pet, which the students loved. It was a hermit crab. Um, I really liked her room, the grouping with her desk. They worked very well for the students. And um, most of the class time I was in there, she was at the carpet doing activities. They sang a song about Easter. Easter eggs and then they talked about adjectives and how um, how this song would sound if it didn't have any adjectives in it and they all started just singing eggs, 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 eggs and they were like no we can't have that so they learned a little bit about that and then they talked about vowels and then wrote down some of their spelling words and wrote some sentences with their new spelling words in it so that was a very effective class and then I went to Miss Wilson's second grade classroom uh, her room was very cluttered with a lot of things, although she did have cute decorations. They were burlap and lacy, and she had these amazing, she did so good. It was, uh, like an ice cream cone made out of the paper, but it was so good. They were so amazing. They were just stuck on the wall. It kind of made me hungry in the morning for ice cream, but it was really cute. Um, she had a really good reading center with tons of books, more books than I have ever seen. One of her walls was all... A whiteboard and then the front of the room had the Promethean board with the large carpet that all the students sat on for some lessons. Uh, one thing I liked about her class was that she worked on their spelling words and as she gave them new words they would write on their right on their whiteboard how to spell this word and of course some would get it wrong. Once she realized that all the students had it wrote down on their board they would all hold it up and then she would spell it out and I like this because the students would kind of learned from their mistakes. They could erase it and then they'd try again on how to spell it. Uh, I really like this because she's not just telling them this is how you spell this. Learn how to spell this. And so like guess can you get it right? You know it kind of gives them a chance at it. So I really liked her class. Um, I really liked my observations for this classroom. Although I did like my ex I did like my child growth ones a little bit better. I went to Wooster and the School for the Blind, and those schools were really amazing. Um, I really enjoyed those, but I learned a lot from my observations this semester and did a lot of them. Um, I'm excited to see what these next years bring to me.